hi everyone welcome back to my channel so let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know be sure to like comment and subscribe and click that notification bell so that when i upload readings you guys will be notified all right so during your pre-shuffle i was seeing um the jealous card a lot jealousy and gossip okay those two cards were circulating a lot here so watch the people around you and what you tell them there's a lot of jealousy because of what you do and who you are like how you carry yourself someone could um be very envious of you because of that which makes no sense but that's what was coming out all right i don't see why people be jealous of people just like do you go and get you something like why are you hating on what someone else has or mad because someone else is doing something for themselves all right so we have social media detox no posting no liking just living not letting it take over your life some of you are, have taken yourself off of social media or you've limited your time on social media you may not be on there as much as you used to we also have getting closer so someone may come in and try to get close to you someone you're not speaking to right now messages do you have for the collectors doing better without their ass some of you feel like you're doing better without somebody you're like i don't need this person in my life maybe you thought pulling away from them was going to cause you to feel some sort of pain or sadness and you may be realizing that that's not the case all right so let's see spirit what messages do you have for the collective what do they need to know Okay, so we have air signs, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Some of you may have blocked. <laughs> Look what came out together. All right. Some of y'all may have blocked an air sign, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Well, just know if you have, this person created a fake account because you blocked them. It's very rare that I see these two together, but these two came out together. Um, and not only that, these two come out together, this card came out texting. I check my phone constantly to see if you text me. So this is someone who's waiting for you to text them. Now they could have easily texted you, right? But they're waiting for you to text them. So um, some of you may be dealing, um, I don't know why Scorpio and Leo came to mind. So I don't know if you're Scorpio dealing with the Leo. And the both of you are waiting for each other to make a move, or you could be dealing with a Leo or dealing with a Scorpio. So let's see. All right, so we have F being nice. Be nice, but not too nice. Not everyone deserves your kindness. And I feel like you're realizing this because we have not talking. You aren't communicating your needs. This person feels like you're not telling them what's wrong with you. You just shut down on them. And they want you to discuss how you feel. This is somebody who wants another chance to make something right. This person could have did something to you because we have worried. I'm worried that it might be too late to make things right between us. And then we have against time. So this person feels like they need to hurry up and do something to fix it or make some sort of decision. Having to do with you. Rushing before it's too late. They took a long time, so now they're walking on thin ice. So somebody, there are a lot of chances, but they want one last chance with you to fix the situation. You may feel like this person brings out the worst in you. They cause you to act out of character. Maybe before you met this person, you were never the type of person that would, you know, say certain things or do certain things when you were aggravated. And now you feel like this person like causes you to do that. So I do see communication coming in. Someone wanting to talk to you. So we have prepare for what's to come and we have warning. So the universe is sort of like warning you that this person may trigger you in some type of way by communicating either by text message or a phone call. We also have at the bottom of the deck looking you up researching you studying you getting information the reason why it's happening because you're unbothered or at least this is how they feel 
you're acting. We have you gave them your best. Now it's time to give it to yourself. If the relationship is starting to feel like you're trying too hard to make it work, it is it's a sign to take a, a step back, to take a back um was that a back seat? Yeah. Just take a, a a step back from the situation. Some of you feel like you're doing too much or you've done too much to keep this relationship together. I don't know. I'm I'm picking up the energy that some of you feel like you're the glue to this relationship. And if it wasn't for you, there would be no relationship because this person don't put in a lot of effort. But we have apology. I'm sorry. It's my fault. What can I do to make it right? So someone may come in apologizing to you. Still holding on to each other, even though you guys have these differences. So somebody feels like no matter how you guys are feeling about each other right now, they're still holding on to you. Maybe we are too different to make the relationship work. It's like one minute they go from feeling like you guys can't be together to wanting to talk to you or wanting your attention. I feel like this person goes from withdrawn and ignoring you to coming back around and wanting your attention and you're fed up with that you're like if you're gonna be here then stay here if not and you're gonna keep withdrawn then leave me alone altogether some of y'all really don't have time for this person right now you feel like they do a lot of foolish shit okay and then they come back and try to apologize for it we have feeling guilty, feeling remorseful. Just know some of you are dealing with someone who's damaged. They need to really do some spiritual work on themselves, maybe meditating, talking to a counselor. They may have been through a lot of things in life and they've never healed from anything. They just kept moving from one relationship to another. It says, before you date me, understand I'm a damaged and broken soul. And we have, I'm pretending to be happy and that all is fine, but I'm miserable. So this may be someone who's sitting back, knowing they want to talk to you, missing the hell out of you and not saying anything. But you're taking care of business as normal. So it's taking charge of life, putting in the work, being mature and being responsible. And this is why they're probably jealous of you because you're not jumping through hoops to talk to this person. You're not tripping. You're like, I'm just handling my business over here we have makeup sex moving divorce and alimony someone may come towards you and tell you that they're getting a divorce from someone or they're thinking about getting a divorce they may tell you that they're working on it we also have the fight is not worth losing you they want to make up for lost time in bed so someone wants makeup sex with you they feel like it's bet they feel like they're better off being with you than without than being without you a blessing in disguise will soon make its way into your life so some of you who didn't think that you were going to hear from someone again or you didn't think that you were going to work something out is going to wind up working it out but it's going to be because of this person reaching out to you i feel take it how it resonates okay if it's the other way around flip and reverse the rules as need be what messages do you have for the collective? Oh, did y'all see that card just fly across the table? Wow. Sage. Universe is saying some of you need to purify your space. Take time to pray or meditate and ask the universe for what you want. We also have jealousy. We have the pregnant card here. Somebody's pregnant. And maybe you're a bit confused about what you want to do when it comes to your situation. We also have trash. Some of you feel like you just want to be done with this relationship and this person. Some of you may have burned something or threw something in the trash that someone gave you. You may have gotten rid of all of their things. Something that they left at your house. But we have it kills me knowing there could be someone else in your life. And missing you we may not be together right now but my heart misses you dearly watch out for this person there could be a fire sign that tries to get back with you 
and you may wind up having unexpected sex with this person. It says the next time you have sex will not be expected. Both of you will not plan for it or see it coming, but it will happen. <laughs> Look at this person's face, though. Like, yo, I didn't mean to do that. But like, oh, well. And then we have the texter. Think carefully before responding to this fire sign. Because for some of you, there's an ex coming back towards you. I miss you. Could we start over? An Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius? And then we have gossip and opinion. Someone may come in trying to kiss your ass. They've been trolling you, trying to figure out what you have going on online. This could be your person or this could be their person who knows about you. But we have gossip and opinions. There is so much outside influences that are affecting this relationship and it's delaying it and preventing it from becoming what it could become. So there could be someone here who's jealous of you and your person. Maybe they don't want to see you guys happy. All right. So let's get some tarot. All right, so we have the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, oh, the King of Pentacles. Some of you may be dealing with an Earth sign, a Virgo Taurus, or a Capricorn who's still holding on to you. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you don't see um, a financial opportunity that's coming in for you. I'm hearing now is not the time to focus on love or this person. Now may be the time to focus on your money. But there is an offer coming in. It's an emotional offer. Some of you could be a Pisces dealing with a Gemini. Um, but yeah, with this Ace of Pentacles, if you're waiting for a job offer or you've um you applied you applied for money. For something, whether it's a bank loan or something here, it's coming in for you. You may be doubting it with the Eight of Swords, but the Ace of Pentacles is showing up here in the upright. This could also be a new job offer. If some of you went on an interview, you may be feeling like, well, they're not going to call me. I'm not going to get it. But there's a there's an opportunity here. Your abundance is about to increase. I don't know why I'm hearing bank loans. Some of you may be buying a home or um, waiting to hear back about an apartment that you're trying to rent. Maybe you just um, put your application in and you haven't heard back yet. Well, don't spend your deposit. <laughs> don't spend your deposit. Because I feel like um, you're going to get it. messages do you have for collectors all right so we have the seven of pentacles the knight of swords somebody wants to talk to you bad i'm telling you this king of wands just keep popping up i swear i saw this king of wands a lot in your pre-shuffle and here they are again with the six of cups the moon and the knight of swords this may be someone who's hiding their feelings like well i'm just gonna let this person come to me because their back is turned to the situation this may also be someone who likes to argue a lot because we also have um so this is either a fire sign coming towards you or an air sign a libra gemini or an aquarius then we have air here right we had air and we had fire so here it is again I believe we had air. Yeah, I think. Anyway, I can't find it. I thought I saw it here. But anyway, um, it's here again. I just feel like this person is very argumentative. It's like you can't have a conversation with this person without them being aggressive. But this may be someone who's thinking about that. Like, they may be feeling like, okay, this time around, I have to approach the situation differently because they're still invested in you. They're still invested in this relationship. And they still want it because the Six of Cups is here. So they still want to reconcile with you. They still want to make this work. 
but there's um i feel like there's a lot that you don't know that's going on with this person the three of pentacles the page of swords so this is someone who's watching you like when is the time i mean when is the right time to say something or reach out or should i just continue to watch Oh, uh, well, okay, no wonder, because this is someone who knows that you're very guarded. You may not have much to say to them, especially if you walked away. Some of you walked away from this person, or they walked away from you, because the Eight of Cups is here. And this is someone who's thinking about how unfair they were to you. This could be a Libra. Or you could be a Libra, and they're thinking about you. But you're being watched with this page of swords or you're just um, somebody's gathering information. I just want somebody is judging you. They're judging you. They're observing you. If you're posting things online and maybe like um, posting where you've gone, maybe if you you went out to eat with friends or you went out to a party or to an event or something. This person is watching you and they're like, no, I got to get my person back. Because they don't like the fact that you're having a good time without them. So I'm sort of picking up this jealous energy again. With the nine of wands and the page of swords, it's like, oh, you left me and you're doing good without me. Or you're ignoring me, even if you haven't left your person. But you're just like, okay, I'm just going to take some time and do me. Like, I don't care about them right now. I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to look cute or look handsome or whatever and go out. And they don't like the fact that you're doing that and you're not including them. I'm hearing watch who you tell your ideas to. Everyone is not always happy for your success. Someone could be low-key hating on you but show up as a friend. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Earth energy, someone is dragging their feet to come towards you, but they know they still love you. Oh, that's because you're no longer giving to this person. The Queen of Pentacles is reversed. You could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn dealing with a Gemini. And this Gemini may be dragging their feet coming towards you to say something. Especially if this person knows that they owe you an apology. Or if they want to just fix the situation. But they, I feel like someone, they may have thought that you were going to try to reach out and fix the situation first. Because that's something that you always do. But you're like, not this time or not, not today. <laughs> the King of Cups. Oh. All right. So we have the King of Cups in the upright and the King of Swords in reverse is that about there is a um wow in the tower at the bottom of the deck there is a air sign that's emotional and they're hiding their feelings so there's either an air sign that's emotional after you guys went through a tower moment or this king of cups it's like i don't have anything to say right now but yet they're thinking about you. They're thinking about the situation. They know they have to come towards you at some point. Yep, look at that. Because they don't want this to be over. The Nine of Swords. The Five of Wands. The World Reversed. The Empress. Some of you could be a Taurus dealing with a water sign. You could be a Taurus dealing with a Pisces. And you may be um, going through something with this person. Take your heart resonates. But what I'm seeing here is somebody is like, well, I don't want to talk right now. I don't have anything to say there. They have an attitude with this King of Swords reversed. But yet, they're emotional about the situation. They're just hiding it. They don't want you to know that they're feeling vulnerable. Or they're, they don't want you to know that they're feeling emotional because then it makes them seem vulnerable and they don't want to show that side of them. But you're showing up as the empress. They know they can't replace you. They know they can't do no better. 
They know they can't because they don't even want this to be over. Because if they thought that they could replace you, the world card would be in the upright. And they would be like, okay, I'm out of here. It doesn't matter. But it does matter. They may just be trying to act like it doesn't. Why am I picking up the energy that somebody feels like you think you're better than them? Maybe that's just how they see you. Because remember, I was picking up jealousy and envy in this reading. They feel like you always feel like they need to come towards you and apologize first because you see yourself as the empress, male or female energy. Their cards are not gender-based here. So, yeah, let me just get... Um... The two of pentacles. That card fell on the floor. Give me one second. Oh, okay. The knight of cups. So, with the star, the ace of cups. Yeah, somebody wants to make up with you. They might as well just go ahead. Like, they tripping. <laughs> like, they're asking themselves, like, is now the time? Should I wait? This person is causing their own burdens. Because they want to come towards you with the Ace of Cups and the Star. They want to heal the situation. This could be an Aquarius for some of you. We have Aquarius, Scorpio energy here. And Sagittarius energy as well. Somebody wants to make up with you. Or they want to get on a, like get on a better page. They don't want to keep arguing. They don't want any drama person may have their own drama with the ten of wands but um this may also be someone who lives with someone else and they're missing you and they want to they want to fix this or they want this to be fixed they want the drama to be over with they're tired of the drama they don't want to keep arguing but i do feel like this is someone who has some issues that they need to fix because the drama may be about them yeah so those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.